Hey guys, welcome back to my garage. In this video, we're going to do the spindle bench test. We're going to test the spindle analog output from Acorn. There is a CNC file in the NC files directory called spindle bench test. It's imperative that you do this test when you're testing your Acorn on the bench. Once you've got Windows configured, once you've got Acorn communicating with uh, CNC 12 and uh, you've got that part of the testing done, then you need to do the spindle bench test. It validates the spindle analog output coming from Acorn and it's an automated test. So uh, the first thing you need to do, you need to get a DC voltmeter and make sure it's set to DC and connect it to the spindle analog output terminals on Acorn. Here's a picture of that. Black to common, red to the output. All right, now let's get going with the test. Okay, my Acorn is just still set up from the bench test mode. I have nothing connected to it. I've just got the uh, DC voltmeter connected to the spindle analog output terminals and I have an e-stop button. Make sure you're on DC. It's okay to see that little bit of residual voltage coming from the spindle analog output. I'm going to set it here, hopefully you can see it. My Windows 10 has already been configured and CNC 12 has already been installed and tested with Acorn. Let's go ahead and start it. Okay. CNC 12 came up, so we've got communications established. It says reset initiated, press reset to clear. I'm going to go ahead over here to the reset button on the screen and hit it. Reset's cleared. Also, what we want to do is we want to go into F7 utility menu, F10 Acorn Wizard, and we want to check to see that the spindle settings are set up correctly. So we'll go into the spindle category under setup. We'll take a look. It says and this is the way it needs to be set up for the test. Spindle max speed in high range, 3000. Spindle min speed in high range, zero. I'm gonna go ahead and write those settings. Write these settings, yes. Now you get a dialog saying, settings saved. Be sure to close and restart CNC 12 for all changes to take effect. This is important, you've gotta do this. If you had values, spindle values that were not 0 and 3000 and you didn't save this, your test may not complete correctly. So we're going to go to shut down F10, then shut down exit CNC 12 F9. Now we're going to restart CNC 12. Okay, in our dialog box it says reset initiated, press reset to clear. So I'm going to go down here and click the reset trip button. Okay, reset cleared, so we're good. I'm going to put my meter back here. Now I'm going to go into the run menu and I'm going to turn off runtime graphics by pressing F10. And then I'm going to go back to the main CNC 12 screen. Now I'm going to press F2 load and I'm in the CNCM NC files directory. We're going to look for spindle bench test. Here it is. All right, you can see up here job name, it's loaded. Now we're going to go ahead and press cycle start to run it. It says welcome to the bench testing utility. Please make sure you have a DVM and a copy of the installation manual on hand. Press cycle start to continue. So we're gonna, you can press Alt-S or you can press cycle start. I'm gonna go ahead and use Alt-S on the keyboard. Voltage reading number one, S500. Enter the voltage VDC read between spindle analog and spindle analog com. Press cycle start to continue. My meter's reading 1.677, so I'm gonna put 1.677. Enter. Press cycle start to resume the job. Alt-S. Voltage reading number two, S1000. Enter the voltage DC read between spindle analog and spindle analog com. 3.342, 3.342. Press cycle start to continue. Voltage read number three, S2000. Enter the voltage read between spindle analog and spindle analog com. We got about 6.66. 6 6.66. Cycle start to continue, Alt S. Voltage reading number four, S3000. Enter the voltage 
VDC read between spindle analog and spindle analog com. We got 9.99, 9.99, Alt S. It's complete. That's a successful uh, spindle analog output test from Acorn. Again, this needs to be done during the bench test process before you mount this in a cabinet, before you wire it to a VFD. Now, let's, I'm going to run this again, but I'm going to give it some bogus numbers, and I want you to see what kind of error messages that you'll get. We still have spindle bench test CNC at the top, so I'm going to press cycle start to run it. Alt S. And it says bench testing appears to have been partially completed. Press 1 to continue from last test or 0 to start over. We're going to start over, so I'm going to press 0, enter, press cycle start to resume the job, Alt S. And there's starting over. Welcome to the bench testing utility. Make sure you have a DVM, digital voltmeter, and a copy of the installation manual on hand. Press cycle start to continue. Alt S. Now the first, the first reading here, it says S500. Enter the voltage DC read be between spindle analog and spindle analog common. It says 1.667. Let's put 2.3. Alt S. And here you go. Invalid voltage. The voltage should be plus or minus 10% of 1.66. Okay? So that's what kind of error you'll get if the voltage isn't correct. Let's do a cycle start. Alt S to retry. 1.677. 1.677. Enter. Cycle start. That's the spindle bench test. Uh, to check the analog spindle output of Acorn needs to be done before you connect it to a VFD or uh, mount it in your cabinet. All right, hope this helps you guys. Talk to you soon.